there is a great possibility in Cubase and Noendo, a lot of people don't know. I speak about automating the routing and here is a short example how to use it. So we've got two different parts of the piano. We've got part one and part two here and they should sound different. So now I add some effects. Let's say here we add the squasher of Stamberg. The next we want to reduce the low frequencies. So I take the frequency and do this. Let's listen. I want to have another plugins at the second part. So I've deactivated this and let's say we want to choose Mellify because now we want to have a retro sound. Perhaps now we can use the RC20. And perhaps a little bit more saturation with a decapitator. Okay, so now we've got two different sounds. So the first part here should have the first two plugins and the second part plugin three, four, and five. So I could automate all those plugins and do this and yeah, you guess we start with them and then I've got to do this by hand. I got to do it very fast and there is another way with a few benefits. So I create a group track. Say we want to have this one. We say piano effects. We want to have two tracks. Now I go to the mixer and I take plug in one and two, two piano effects, one. And the other three plugins to the other one. So we are here. Let's activate them. How can we automate the routing? Instead of stereo out, we say piano effects one. So to here, it's nothing new. And I can say we want to go to piano effects two. Yeah, different. But now let's add some fun because to the second slot, I add piano effects Two. And I can switch this instantly. And as you guess, I can automate this one. And now it works on its own. And the great thing is now I can add here some more plugins. I can add some sense that I say the retro sound should have some reverb, the first sound, some delays and so on, so on. And you can do it very fast and you can have a lot of fun. So when you like this video, please give me a thumb up. It would make me very happy when you get some more questions or suggestions. Just leave a comment and at the video at the left top, you see how I work with time stretching inside of Cubase. So see you the next time. Bye.